Hello everyone, Peter here, good fistener. Guys, let's fight for the right reptile. Yes, let's build fixable devices. But before we will do it, we'll get a job. And I'm trying to be prompt with videos. If I will have longer videos like this assembly and assembly, I will split them into the episode because I know there are people who like to watch uh, short videos and there are people who like to see as well dismantle or uh, disassembly and assembly, yes? So I will be splitting these videos. I will try not to do um, videos for hours, yes? But I will try to do these videos split. So today we get a main board. It's HP laptop. We get a BIOS. Uh, where are you? Here. And we get a second BIOS chip. And we need to just replace it, yes? So that's a win bond. 25Q32B. Uh, v S I G yes so we get it and we get a second BIOS here sent by a, a person which I've ordered it from I didn't want to go through the programming because I uh, of the BIOS which which I have here yes of this one because uh, I've ordered from China another programmer and my programmer is only uh, to the higher voltage i don't have 1.8 volts yes so i've decided i'll i'll just you know order this one and that's it so let's let's hook up let's get some hot air and let's get some tools okay so we get to this and should get some flux here guys I don't know if I dropped something. I'll pause and I'll prepare everything and then I'll unpause the video so that we won't waste the time. Okay, so before the sale, there's plenty of people who don't know yet. When we're doing it, we need to apply flux. When we apply the flux, we can remove the uh, chipset easier. Then we need solder. I've got to let it solder. I, it's easier for me to work with. I don't use um, low melt solder, okay? I don't use it, but there are people who use it and they found it better. I don't see a difference for myself to be true. Uh, then you get a wick, yes. I get a brush with a kitchen towel, and I get something to cut the wick. And that's pretty much it. Apart from this, I'm using the kitchen stainless steel uh, scrub so that I can literally get uh, stuff off the soldering iron when I'm using it. Yes, and you know that's it so let's let's switch to the view okay let's okay this is a bit annoying okay and i need the tweezers guys everything but tweezers yes so I'll I'll start to heat and I'll apply this flux. You see it's melting already. It doesn't have to be a lot as long as, as you have it. We see that the dot is on this side and there is a line as well. Yes, so this is showing us which direction it should go. Uh, when it's starting to get, get a smoke, and that's me we need to focus we're trying to not burn anything as well so starting to move okay that's us guys that's us let's switch it off it's noisy but serves me for a decade so yeah I don't want to change it until it's working fine. Okay, so we don't see uh, huge problems here to be true. We will get the, the soldering iron. Now, I'll plug it in. It's not comfortable on this side, so maybe I'll do it here. And we can clean this one in this, yes. Too cold. 
still, but it's on, it's a light on, I'll put the max 10. Oh yeah, now it's hot. So it went off. Superb. Let's put more flux here. I'm using my left hand so it's not as comfortable as I would use my right one. Let's get let's get it off. I've got a I got too big tip, but I don't mind. I prefer to have bigger than smaller. Okay, and the other side as well. We try not to do like that. I showed in the other video why. So you can get it burned. Okay, so that's that's pretty much it. We can clean it up, get alcohol. Brush it off. As you see it's stubborn. So it will take a bit of time. It's better. Yes, and it's quite clean. Okay, I'm trying to get get rid of this uh, dark thing because it's not helping. Now fresh flux. We don't have a ground pad here, as you see, it's only eight pin chip, so it's fine. Let's get iron. Let's get some solder. Let's put some. Actually, we don't need a lot, you know, it's just a bit we can then com correct it. I'll clean it again because I, I shouldn't use the full temp on it, but I did, so I know I might pay for that. Okay. See, now if I want to be quick, I know I can. Uh, it's burnt, yes. Uh, it's really quickly burning because I did use highest temp, and when you use the highest temp, everything is happening quicker. So either you know what you're doing and you can use this higher temp, or just neglect it. Okay, that's cleaning up. That's fine. Well, let's brush a bit more. Okay, and now let's put flats and let's put the new chipset. And I'll pause the video and like at Northridge Fix they are disassembling it on the side yes the big boss is doing it so I don't have a big boss <laughs> I can't um, I can't say I have a big boss to have someone to help me out with disassembling and assembling which to be true is another spec of knowledge okay i don't like to do it with my left hand i will switch to my right hand because i know myself can do some things with oh i don't have anything to press it on and it's stuck to my hmm. need to clean my uh, tweezers because it's stuck into this chipset so okay ah oh, still sticking okay you know what I'll clean it this and I'll, I'll clean it with alcohol I scrub it and I get get with the alcohol so it should be now i should have taken the second pair of tweezers look still sticking what's wrong with me today i am
Okay, let's get out of there. Hopefully I won't burn myself today at least. Because I will use my hand, I see. But it's just sticking too much, so that's why I don't want to use... Okay, that's just one and that's holding. See guys, now we can do the same on this. Okay, now we can do the rest in a comfort zone because now it won't move. Yeah, so now it's fine. Just press from the top, release. Press from the top, release. Yes, press from the top, release. Okay. Now I'll use my left hand to not turn it around. Of course, left will be shaky, but who cares? It just eight pin BIOS. It's not something you know. And one more time, you. Okay, we can before switching it off. We can use probe from the meter to see if they are stiff. I don't like how this is springing. Look, this one is not moving. Okay, this one. I don't like it. Okay, I'll correct it. I thought I've done it right, but guess what? I was wrong. Okay. Oh, I see that the the heat is. I I should switch this heat off. Okay. No wrong. I'll I'll make it a bit down because it's it's far too big for what we need. Okay, now I like it. See that one was loose. Like this firm grip. Happy days, guys. So now what has left is clean it up again with. I'll switch off the iron. Clean it off with an alcohol. Yes, a bit brush it off wipe it and I'll I'll assemble it okay not fully I will just assemble it so that it will be uh, with a with a screen and everything and we will see if this will boot up I, I can't forget about the battery where's the battery here CR 2032 Usually the case, yes. Oh, uh, so yeah, and we will see each other in a wee while. Okay, guys. So I did. Uh, I did plug everything back in. Only I didn't plug in the keyboard. Uh, I should plug in the keyboard as well. But anyway, let's try to. That there is no literally a uh, manufactured program mode set to product this KU the following program program into the system board is missing or invalid. So that means the prob this problem which you see here is that the BIOS uh, the BIOS was programmed in the wrong way. Okay. I don't know if you can see here. So the product serial number, product SKU, product family, board CT number, yes, enter, continue, start, yes. For me, product information not valid, yes. For me, that's good enough actually to put this laptop back together, because I see that it is, it is okay. I don't have to do everything, okay, I don't have to do everything, We I remove the, uh, no uh, PB, no lead solder from it, so it will be easier even to the solder without opening it. Uh, so, so I don't have to open it. But what I want to say is that's good enough for me because I see that laptop has boot up. Yes. So I I know that it's only a matter of setting up. I would uh, I would let's say uh, do something with it, like you know finish it off but I will just take your time and that will be long video whereas now it's 14 minutes video so I wanted to only plug in the keyboard okay and start it up 
Okay, now what do we need? We need enter to continue setup. Yes, enter to continue. Okay, please install operating system. That's fine. System diagnostics we don't need. It's I don't know which button is to enter BIOS. Let's check delete. No, it's not the delete. Okay, let's check F1 or function F1. Okay, that's not the case in this case. So let's say F2 or function F2. System diagnostics was there. Enter to continue startup. System fan. I didn't plug in system fan. Uh, F10, okay, F10. It's okay. If for now it's okay, you know, if I would if I would do it okay. Enter to continue setup. F10 to enter bias. Start the memory test. Escape to cancel. Are you sure exiting? No. System diagnostics, memory, hard disk check, memory test language. Okay, that laptop is working. Uh, sorry, you didn't see. I see it here. I don't want to make this video too long. The reason why I was uh, replacing this uh, actually BIOS, because I didn't specify it, I think, at the very start of the, of the video, is was that this is a 4545s model that's a windows pro and that has bitlocker now the bitlocker is a problem you know to remove the password and customer don't remember the password so customer said if i can remove it and i said well i can just you know like flash the bios or order a new one and because i had an issue with the programmer i just you know i just uh, ordered the bios this came uh, pre-made for me it should work out of the box I've provided serial number product number and so on so it should work but they see there are issues so I will resolve these issues that's not a problem and I've got my programmer as well here uh, one which I bought it's not 1.8 volt that's only a problem so I can't use for all the biases because I don't want to burn them and uh, I could overcome it again, but then I need to redesign it. So another one is coming from China. I can wait because that was the only laptop which I was needing urgently, yes. And uh, now I will assemble everything and I will deal with, with the issue. But for what I was, you know, aimed to do, I've done. And I will only check if I can resolve it myself or I will need to um, wait on the programmer or maybe write to that guy to send me a flash and I will just, well, actually I can do it myself. But then again, I don't have a programmer on 1.8 volt. That's why I don't wanna, you know, get this as a too long video because we've got like 18 minutes, yes. But now you see how it's easy to just desolder one chip, solder another new one, and it should work out of the box. Because we removed the battery, we need to set up the time and date and so on. But apart from that, you shouldn't do anything else. If you need to do anything else, that means there is an error in the process. Yes, but that's it. Because I don't have to assemble and disassemble in front of you. I don't need to do it. Yes, so I know it's working. I know the other uh, BIOS would have the you know pin give me the pin and here there's no pin so i'm happy because that was the reason why this laptop was brought in and hopefully the customer will be happy now as well uh, i will see if i will record part two because that will be only assembling so i don't i don't know if there's any value for you guys so probably i will neglect it yes uh, but that's it in this episode see you in the next one Bye bye